uh, 13 minutes past eight. Uh, breaking news this morning, fights have broken out between commuters in London and Extinction Rebellion activists. In violent scenes, protesters have apparently been dragged from the top of tube trains. Police say several have been targeted. Arrests have been made. They're trying to restore order. Uh, our chief correspondent, Richard Gaysford, is at Westminster. Uh, what's the situation there, Richard? Well, I've been speaking to British Transport Police officers here. They say they managed to get the line up and running quite quickly, Susanna. They had specialist teams who were prepared for this. You can see a strong police presence here today. They were uh, already knowing uh, that uh, something was likely to happen, and they went in and removed protesters as quickly as they could. But it's been a tough job. We've got pictures just in this morning showing an 83-year-old woman who'd superglued her hands to the train as part of this protest. Uh, you've also got these protesters, two of them at Canning Town Station that we've seen in this previous video, uh, jumping on top of the train and then being targeted by the commuters on the platform who were not at all happy at this action. And you can see the commuters uh, desperately trying to drag them off the top of the train. And when they did get one of them on the ground, a scuffle broke out. It was only thanks to a Transport for London uh, operator on the platform that uh, things didn't really get totally out of control. There were chaotic scenes there that, as you say the police have been trying very hard to calm down. Now, Sadiq Khan, who is the London mayor, of course, has said that this was uh, completely out of order. He condemns this completely. He says this is not the way to protest and that it is counterproductive and extremely dangerous. And it is dangerous when you look at what was happening this morning. A lot of criticism this morning of this action online and from uh, commuters that we're meeting. Uh, people are wondering why Inst Extinction Rebellion would want to target the tube one of the cleanest forms of transport in the capital. Um, we also saw a, yeah, a, a, a still image as well of uh, an 83-year-old Phil Kingston who had superglued his hand to a tube train this morning as well. Uh, I, I guess a less sort of uh, violent protest that he's making, supergluing his hand, but no less um, frustrating for the commuters who then can't get on the train and get to work. He didn't climb on it, he didn't get pulled off it, but... Can you imagine how frustrating that must be for anybody on that tube line there this morning who can't get to work because he's superglued his hand to the train? Mayor of London Sadiq Khan has issued a statement in the last couple of minutes. I strongly condemn the Extinction Rebellion protesters who have targeted the London Underground and DLR this morning. This illegal action is extremely dangerous, counterproductive and is causing unacceptable disruption to Londoners who use public transport to get to work. It is also an unfair burden on our already overstretched police officers. I urge demonstrators to protest peacefully and within the boundaries of the law. Uh, there's been four arrests so far at Stratford and Canning Town Station. That's Canning Town, the pictures you're looking at uh, this morning. And there's still ongoing... Um, problems at Shadwell on the DLR, the Docklands Light Railway station as well, trying to get rid of four protesters from Shadwell this morning. Uh, we'll keep you up to date with that over the next couple of minutes uh, before the end of the programme. Now, though, 16 minutes past eight, it's time for the competition, Ben. Uh, you... It's quite a big one, apparently.